Welcome back to a little bit of Common Crazy. My name is Jennifer and I can't wait to share with you my Halloween jack-o'-lantern DIY board. So stick around. So are you decorating for Halloween? Are you working on some DIYs? Just so you know, every Wednesday I have a series on my channel where I'm sharing with you a different Halloween DIY. I have one more for you, so make sure you come back next Wednesday so you don't miss that one. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that is the way you're notified every single time that I upload a video. So let's go ahead and jump into this super easy jack-o'-lantern board. So here you see all the supplies that you will need for this project. I have a jack-o'-lantern that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, some wood that I've cut 18 and inches by 18 inches, some dark stain and a foam brush to apply that as well as some paint that I already have had on hand. You can see that it is well loved. So grab what you already have. Don't go out and buy anything new. If you have something, if you have white paint, whether it's chalk paint or acrylic paint or something like that, use what you have. So first I'm going to stain the board. In order to get this 18 by 18, I took four pieces of pallet wood and glued them together with wood glue. But you can use whatever you already have on hand or if you need to go to Home Depot or Lowe's or something and grab some wood, they will help you cut it. Go ahead and do that. I wanted to use what I had on hand because it wouldn't cost me anything and I'm all about trying to do my DIYs on a budget. Once it's done being stained, set it aside and let it dry. After it's dried for a few hours, you're gonna come in with your white paint and you're going to use that jack-o'-lantern as your template in order to paint. So I'm taking the white paint into the mouth as well as the nose and the eyes, and I'm trying to be really careful. I'm using a foam brush with this, and I'm kind of bouncing it at first in order to get it applied the way I want to, and then I will go back and smooth that out. Because this is a jack-o'-lantern, I'm not too concerned with it being perfect. I'm okay with it being imperfect. And to me, that's what makes this unique and super cute. So after I finish the inside of the jack-o'-lantern, it's now time for me to go around the outside, the perimeter of the jack-o'-lantern. And I wanna make sure that I make, get the paint all the way up to the edges of my jack-o'-lantern template. You see that I actually at some points go against the grain as I'm painting, and that's to make sure that I'm getting paint all the way around the perimeter of that jack-o'-lantern. But in the end, I will make sure that my final foam brush strokes are going along the grain of the white paint. The white paint is going along the grain of the wood. Now it is time to reveal what my jack-o'-lantern looks like. So there you have it. It's not perfect. You see some of the edges. I am going back in with a smaller foam brush to just kind of thin out any area where the paint might be a little bit thicker because I didn't want that. I was just gonna smooth that out, but I'm not concerned with the fact that some of the paint seeped through or something like that. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. If you want to be a little bit more cautious, you can, but I absolutely love the way that this turned out. You're gonna let it dry for several hours and then it is ready to go. I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. If you miss my decorate and clean with me, I will link that for you so you can see that as well. Do remember that I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and next Wednesday, I will share with you another Halloween DIY. Please give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.